Today's video, I will be getting a Blu-ray player on my computer. I have three computers that have Blu-rays on, Blu-ray Blu drives. Uh, this is not one of them. Um, I got about three computers that have Blu-ray drives, but I don't want to purchase software for for all three of them. For example, if you want to play Blu-ray movies on your computer, you need a Blu-ray drive, of course. You also need software that will run Blu-ray movies. Windows 11 does not come with any media player that will enable you to play DVDs or Blu-ray movies. You have to purchase it separately. So this is one of the programs you could purchase if you want to uh, run Blu-ray movies on your computer. Something like CyberLink, Power, DVD.2, 23 Ultra, or whatever. There's, there's many different types that you can, you can buy. And they are not, they're pretty expensive. This is the cost of a Blu-ray uh, player about this much money so the only thing you need is a blu-ray drive if you don't have one already the blu-ray five and a quarter inch drive I don't these could run anywhere from 50 bucks to 150 bucks depending on what you get I just have two cheap ones, like uh, something like this, two of these, and one of these that I bought a while back. I was able to get two computers to play Blu-ray movies using this method. So, what you need are some of the pro uh, some of the programs or software. You need a program called VLC media player however if you download the default one with the installer it's not going to work so you need to install the one with the seven zip package this one click on that download that and you need two files here you need um the player that i'm getting is a 32 bit so you need to get vlc 32 bit on windows so get that Click on that, it will download automatically. Go here and get the online database. There's different ones for different languages. So. For me, I speak English, so I will select this right here because my Blu ray movies are in English. If you are in another country with these supporting languages, then you can select them as well, whatever they are. Just select it, download it, and get the files. Okay. Now, I got all the files here. So what I have to do now is I need to put these files in the appropriate directories. What I need to do now is go to this computer, or you can go to Windows Explorer if you want. If you don't have that, go to Windows Explorer. Go to your main directory. I think it's C drive. C drive like that. I'm going to put my VLC player in program files. I will call that Video LAN. Create a directory called Video LAN. Go into Video LAN, create another called. VLC and that's it and I will put the VLC player go in here dump that 
go in there again dump all the files here into the VOC folder do this for all items continue Okay, so that's done. And I need some other things too. So this file lib act lib Put that into VLC folder here. Okay, that's it for that. Now we need to go to a folder called C colon forward slash program data go here create a folder called AACS here you want to unzip that go more if you can't see it extract all I'll extract it to key db extract okay so I got that now I put this file in here that's all the files you have to get in now I want to go back to program files video land VLC and I want to create an icon for this on the desktop this is the application file, not the icon. So go here, right click, show more, send to desktop. That's pretty much it. That's all I had to do. Now I should be able to run Blu-ray movies. I want to change that. Press F2. Call it VLC Blu-ray. That's what I'm going to call that. I'll put it right here. And I have a Blu-ray movie that's in here already, so I'll click that. It's safe. After all, I got it from VLC's website. That, go to media, go to open disk. This is the disk I want to run. I want to select Blu-ray. I'm going to put no disk menus. There's no disk menus anyway, so... Play that and see if it works. As you can see, this Blu ray movie is playing. I'm not having a problem with it, any problem with it. Skip to a different part of the video. Okay, so I'm able to play Blu-ray mov movies on my computer. Now I have three computers that could run Blu-ray movies, and I didn't have to pay. Uh, I didn't have to pay money to do that. I didn't have to buy a Blu-ray media player, which costs about fifty to sixty dollars. I would have to buy three of them for each computer, which would have costed me about $150 to $180. I saved $180. I don't have a Blu-ray player at my... Well, I do have a Blu-ray player on my television. That's for the PlayStation 3. But I don't want to use that. I'd rather watch Blu-ray movies on my computer. So that's why I use this method. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to know where you can buy a Blu-ray player, I'll leave it in the video descriptions below. And uh, thanks for watching.